Hey guys, how are we all? Welcome to My Way Tarot. This is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Pisces. This will be a weekly general love reading for Pisces. This can resonate with your sun, moon, rising or Venus sign, so please check out the other available videos on the channel so you get a clearer, more concise picture as what potentially could be happening for your love life in this week. Now I could be reading for yourself or for your love interest, the one that's on your mind. So please use your own discernment and flip the roles to however this best fits with your situation. But please do not make the story fit. If the reading resonates or if parts of the message resonate, then that's awesome. If it doesn't resonate, then it's simply not your message. Okay, guys? So let's have a look and see what's happening for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for love for this week. I feel one more shuffle. Okay, so let's get into this. Let's have a look, see what's going on. Okay. Just seeing 111 on the clock. So potentially something you've been wanting to come in or hoping for to come in is going to be coming in for you relatively soon. I feel like some sort of manifestation or potentially you could be seeing those numbers quite often. Ooh, six of swords in re um, I was going to say reverse, but it's upright, so which is really good. So um, I feel like I wanted to say it as reversed because either you or your love interest or maybe even the both of you haven't actually been able to move on emotionally from each other. But someone's moving on to karma waters, either you are or your person is or maybe both of you are transitioning into another new phase of another cycle maybe there's some sort of healing coming into play relatively soon yeah look at this nine of wands in reverse somebody has been feeling um, relatively hurt potentially from past relationships and they've kept that kind of quiet potentially could be dealing with a, a pisces oh actually this could be you obviously i mean doing a pisces reading goodness so yeah potentially you may be recovering from a difficult situation. Page of Cups upright, Queen of Cups upright, beautiful. Okay. Four of Cups in reverse and the Three of Swords in reverse. Well, we like to see that. So then it's reverse, the Three of Swords. So yeah, definitely you. I feel like either you or both of you are recovering some, from some sort of previous heartbreak. Look at that, we have the High Priestess here, beautiful. This is Cancer energy here with the High Priestess. So we have a lot of water here on the table. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with the Three of Swords in reverse and the Six of Swords upright. And we also have Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There isn't any Earth on the table as of right now, but there is the Ace of Pentacles, oh my gosh, and the Ace of Cups, wow beautiful so you could be dealing with a taurus virgo or capricorn as well however this resonates so what i'm feeling predominantly is that someone's wanting someone else to drop their guard in relation to love so things can move on swimmingly i'm getting <laughs> that's so random um so things can be moved on to calmer waters so things can be healed there could be some sort of balance and stability um, potentially someone wants to ask for someone else's forgiveness for hurting them in the past, um, maybe breaking their heart. I'm getting that song, Unbreak My Heart by Tony Braxton. Unbreak My Heart, Say You Love Me Again. So potentially someone's going to come forward and say, look, you know, can you love me again? This person may have previously had options before and they're now realising that they don't want to have options anymore, that they've actually, you know, want to choose you. Potentially you're this, obviously, this Queen of Cups energy here, like you've been putting a lot of healing and self-love and self-care into yourself, like you're a very warm, empathic, intuitive, um, potentially even psychic spiritual person and this person finds you incredibly mysterious very alluring and they want to come forward towards you you do not see this though 
or maybe you do see this or you do have an intuitive nudge in knowing that this person wants to come about and do this, but they haven't physically done it as of yet. This, best, this person definitely wants to renew the connection between the two of you. They definitely want to make sure that if they come back around into your life, that you're both not going to be sad from the previous heartbreak that there may have been between the two of you. Potentially there may have been a point where one person was overgiving of their love, overgiving of their affection previously, and there may not necessarily have the balance of equal give and take in relation to that. And so someone could have been incredibly hurt by this whole whole situation. And they may have been fond memories of the past between the two of you. And so someone could have felt relatively confused as to why a situation may have played out the way that it did and felt really quite hurt. Potentially someone may come forward towards you and say, look, they completely regret how they potentially treated you in the past, that they didn't um, take better care of you, I'm getting, or didn't handle the situation um, better than they probably should have done. This person definitely wants to come forward and take you out on a, on a date. They want to kind of surprise you, I'm getting, but like a positive, happy surprise. You're not necessarily expecting this apology to come in or maybe even a gift or an offer of love or a declaration of feelings, but potentially as with the high priestess here, you may know this as of yet, but you kind of know that potentially this is happening or will happen or may happen very soon. But then it's kind of like you may feel like an, a different, a difficult crossroads in your life, in yourself, because you kind of know that you're going to have this potentially brand new beginning, this beautiful beginning when it comes to a solid foundation and to growing feelings of true love and that someone's going to come back to you. Look at this. You know, it's a past life connection with the Six of Cups, if someone wants to come back to you, they want to reunite and they most likely want to offer you a gift or some sort of light communication or apology. I'm getting like maybe even flowers, chocolate. Somebody wants to come forward towards you and travel to see you. You may live at a distance from this person. If you do live at a distance, I feel like this person kind of sees you in other people and they kind of having to do double takes as if you've got like some sort of doppelganger. <laughs> and this may cause a lot of confusion in this person's head because they're trying to get out of their head. And then when they see you or see a glimpse of someone that looks like you, they get back in their head again. So they may have been like teetering on the fence, like unsure about coming forward towards you because they don't want to be rejected and left out in the cold by you if they were to make these particular changes by approaching you when they've made this particular decision they know that they've caused you a really difficult time and potentially you may see them you know walking towards you with a big red flag <laughs> and you may have got some sort of closure from this person from a while ago um, and maybe pursued something else or just focused on your own stability but this person wants to grow with you, but you may be a bit fearful about whether this person actually has those true intentions. So it's like trying to trust, trust in yourself enough to know when this person does come back around. It's like trying to make sure you feel like you're, you're making the right decision I'm getting. Because you don't want to kind of rehash any old problems that there may have been previously. It's like trying to be able to stand up in your own truth and just say what you feel that you need to say without a load of drama. But I feel like all of these kind of things are just like there's particular just fears of how a, a situation is going to play out. But I feel like you kind of instinctively know how things are going to turn out. But you do love this person unconditionally and they love you as well. And you have a very strong soulmate connection, potentially past life here. This person is very attracted to you and they definitely want to be here as in right now to see you. They may come across as they're a little bit withdrawn, a little bit, you know, what have you. 
potentially online they may look like they couldn't even care less you may feel like they didn't care less that they've entertaining other people or other options or what have you but can reassure you that that's not necessarily the case whatsoever um this person definitely wants to come forward and they want to actually specifically just date you they're a little bit shy about coming forward towards you but they're, they're still going to do it regardless and they're hoping that you're going to be very fair with them and also very mature about the whole situation and they're hoping that you're going to feel you know emotionally secure in yourself enough to be able to handle whatever it is that they're going to come forward towards you and tell you because this person may have had a lot of sleepless nights um, about the fact that they know that they most likely broke your heart and so therefore now this person is hoping that you have kind of not necessarily gotten over it like not necessarily gotten over it or gotten over the worst of it but just kind of try to see things from another perspective and just kind of be open enough as it were to allow them to say what they feel that they need to say in order for things to become um, balanced between the two of you. Now we have no majors here on the table, but I kind of wanna find out about what this high priestess is about here. So I'm gonna put this here. So I hope you can see that, yeah, you can. So I wanna find out about this high priestess energy of what you don't see, because the high priestess is all to do with secrets. It's to do with the unknown. It's to do with behind the scenes as it were. And it's interesting because it's what we don't see. So, yeah, there's a lot going on behind the scenes that you do not see. And it's interesting to me earlier because we saw the moon energy upright when we were talking potentially about you here. Um, that somebody's wanting you to drop your guard. There's been a lot of mystery in your connection and a lot of complications. You may potentially, they may feel that you're wearing a mask because you've got your guards up. And you're not actually expressing how much you feel about this person either. You may be keeping yourself a little bit back, like not offering your cup of love to them. Or because you may have offered your cup to them previously and they may have kind of, you know, not been too interested in it previously. And that could have been what broke your heart or what really hurt you. But this person wants to take the time now to kind of um, nurture the emotional connection between the two of you because there's some sort of attachment there definitely a spiritual connection of sorts but potentially they may feel that even though to other people you may come across as very warm very loving and you know any other person would most likely be able to approach you about anything for some reason it's like you have your back to the idea of having this potential offer with this person so it's like they may feel like, oh, okay, because it's me, you're not going to treat me the same as obviously everyone else. So they may feel like, you know, obviously if they have hurt you, then of course you're not necessarily going to treat them the same as everyone else. But I mean, do you kind of get what I mean? Like, yeah, I feel regardless of whatever has been going on, that you're going to end up speaking your truth about how a situation hurt you. And I feel like this person will actually eventually open up as well to speak to you about how certain things happened and why they happened. You may have been really quite upset that something didn't work out between the two of you and they could have also been just as upset. Look at that. Knight of Cups and the Six of Cups. This person is completely besotted with you and they want to come back to you for a reunion. It's like you don't see that this person wants to come forward towards you. Page of Cups, Queen of Cups, Knight of Cups. They definitely have these strong feelings for you. They want to actually show you their emotional side, their softer side I'm getting. But there could be um, a bit of stagnation as of right now. But that won't last very long here with the Wheel of Fortune. You may just bump into each other just randomly off by the off chance and have a reunion. Because all this person does is have fond memories and nostalgia about your connection why is the high priestess here what's this secret -y? it's like secret everything's quiet on the hush hush three of pentacles in reverse seven of swords yes yeah, someone's definitely trying to strategize to come forward towards you 
you're you're keeping yourself aloof because you feel that this person your fear is that this person isn't going to actually genuinely want to grow with you that you they have ill intentions and that's why you're defensive look at that with a seven of wands wow what else so i'm going to put that back but i feel like that was an additional message you've got very firm boundaries up with this person here with the queen of swords you could be very much in your queen of swords queen of cups energy it's like balancing of the two or maybe this person put you in the queen of swords energy where naturally you're like the queen of cups or like you're in the cups energy and so this person kind of got you to be more in your headspace and more logical and what have you and this could have thrown you off completely because you're actually more someone who follows their heart rather than their head. And so this could actually throw this person off now because they're trying to see, you know, whether you've got yourself balanced in that sense so that they can come forward towards you. And that's just adding to the fact that potentially they feel that you may be unapproachable because if they were to step up to the plate, as it were, and come forward and give you an offer with the cup, you might just kind of cut their hand off. <laughs> You know, you might just cut the hand off with the cup and just say, you know, thank you, but no thank you. So I feel like that's something that they're fearing. Why is the High Priestess here upright? What's this, what we don't see? King of Pentacles in reverse. Empress upright. take all that yeah actually i will gonna take that okay there's that defensive energy again seven of one standing your ground because you don't want any drama this person you're fearful that this person is going to bring a load of chaos and drama and is going to lie to you and that they haven't actually got out of their toxic ways potentially with the devil being in reverse and that you're just going to be continually stuck in your own head that you're trying to get yourself out of your head into your heart space but there's just too much confusion here with the moon energy which is you wow What I'm picking up on is two different storylines here. You see how we have these upright cards and how we have these reversals. So what I'm going to talk about first is the reversals. I'm going to put this beautiful energy over here. So the secret is, is that this person was incredibly selfish. Most likely they could have been um, materialistic and they didn't put in the effort to the connection previously and you may have thought that this person couldn't care less about your connection and that they kind of just broke your heart that's why you're being apart from this person because you don't want to be anxious and let your imagination run wild about why a situation is coming into play or why it isn't. And you may have been really stuck in your own head about this for quite some time because this person potentially could have been unfaithful but doesn't necessarily have to be. I feel like someone is feeling really quite distant. They're feeling distant or they're, they're trying to come across as distant because they're just so scared of getting hurt again and being in another, getting stuck and in, involved in another bad cycle with this person. And I feel that's why you have your guard up so much and this person wants you to drop your guard. And the reason they want you to drop your guard is because they actually see you as this beautiful empress and they want something long term with you with a brand new stable beginning on a solid foundation where you can both build together and actually have a more solid commitment, emotionally fulfilling relationship of sorts here with the Ten of Cups, maybe even settle down, have a family or introduce each other's, you know, introduce each other to the, like the family as it were, taking the next step in a particular connection. You know, they want to rekindle your relationship after the separation from each other. 
potentially move in together, maybe even buy a house or get in the process of buying a house. Somebody definitely wants to set up a home and they feel like you are their person with this Empress energy. Could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. And we do have um, fixed signs here. We have Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo and Taurus here as well on the table with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. This person wants to have a brand new beginning and they really want to change things around. So I feel like someone's definitely letting their imagination run run wild with them because of how somebody acted previously and someone's getting judged by their previous behaviours and they're not being taken seriously. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. One more for the high priest. I actually want to know about this page of cups. I want to know about the intentions of this page of cups. They basically see you as the future mother or father of their children. They want they want long term. They want marriage. Why is this page of cups here for Pisces? What's this offer of love? What's this about? I just feel like I need to find out. Look at that. They want to heal the connection here with the star, Aquarius energy, and then the three of cups. Obviously, I can't take all of that, and I'm not going to. But the, the page of cups is the apology. Can we reunite? Can we reconcile? Can we fix this? Can we let go of whatever happened in the past? Can we rekindle a romance? You know, they're very attracted to you. Yeah. They want to fix whatever instability that there was previously. Why is this page of cups here, please, for Pisces? Yeah. Basically, they want to apologise for causing a load of drama in your life. They're, they're changing, they're trying to come out of particular negative thought patterns and toxic ways and unhealthy behaviours, maybe even codependency. They're trying to grow up a little bit, they're trying to change bad habits that they've got. They felt relatively stuck in a rut previously. Potentially they hurt you or gave you, off the, gave you the wrong impression and they just want to apologise for that. But potentially it's because... Most likely they didn't think very highly of themselves here with the hangman being in reverse. I know it's Pisces energy, but I feel like this person wants to take action now after a period of time of not taking any action. And they've got a brand new perspective in relation to love and they want to come forward towards you. But potentially you may feel like this person is lying. So you're fearful. And it's causing you to be stuck up in your head. But this person wants to leave whatever they need to leave in the past to have something more grounded with you, something long term. But they could have had issues or difficulties with potentially um, lust relationships. That could be something else. Like third parties. I'll take one more for the page of cups, please. The Pisces. Yeah, they want to apologise potentially because they could be dealing with a karmic partner or other karmic partners, other people um, stirring up trouble. Or maybe they just want to apologise for the fact that they stirred up a load of trouble in your life and caused you a load of discomfort. And now they want to come forward towards you and they want to grow on the connection of what you don't see. Yeah, they want to move on forward with you, but they've been scared or unsure about taking this leap of faith to come forward towards you. Because they will potentially think that, you know, it's not the right time to come in and to grow something. Because you may feel like they just want to come in for, you know, a one-nighter for a bit of hot passion. And that's basically it. And then kind of ride off away again. Page of cups, please. 
they want to apologize for the fact that they probably knocked at your confidence by doing what they did and for you to not feel like completely in your power when it came to this person and maybe you even got like really quite upset the fact that you couldn't even feel like you could go out and date other people potentially and meet someone else new because you were too much up in your head about the whole thing what i'm also getting is that they want to apologize for their basically hot and cold behavior of how they were with you yeah they want to come out from the cold they've they you both have been in separation and in the cold with one another but now they want to come out of separation and they want to be out of the cold and they're hoping that you'll basically allow them back into your life as it were to rebalance everything with you but it's going to be your decision you're going to have to weigh up the options like the pros and cons of what's potentially happening with this connection for how they were before you know for how their behaviour was, for how their actions, do their actions match up, what have you, you know, you may have been really frustrated with this person because potentially, you know, with this hot and cold behaviour, potentially they could have given off the impression to you that, you know, they, they could have given off the impression that they were interested but weren't interested or they gave off the impression that they weren't interested, but actually they were very interested, if you kind of get what I'm saying. And they never made a move. And potentially broke promises, especially if you were meant to kind of meet up with each other before or something along those lines and it didn't necessarily work out or happen. So let's have a look and see with the Island Time Wellness Love Oracle cards and what's finding out going on here for... Um, Pisces I really wanted to say Capricorn then so potentially you could be dealing with a Capricorn or you have it strongly in your chart or maybe your person does Pisces wow two cards fell on the floor yeah look at this healthy choices and then we have wedding rings Union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. And it came out reverse. And then we have addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block and restraint. So this person didn't have a union with you before. Didn't have a union or reunion with you before, even though there was the recognition of a soul connection between the two of you. Because most likely they were dealing with codependency issues. And so therefore now they're trying to change things around and make it right so that they can come forward towards you. You don't see that they're trying to make these difficult, these dif well, I was saying difficult there. So maybe they feel that this whole process has been incredibly difficult and they're making these changes. They feel like they're making these sacrifices in order to come forward towards you to kind of um, prove their love. They want you to feel their love. I'm getting that song, You Can Feel My Love. What's going on here for Pisces? Thank you. Not today, look at that. Not dealing, her avoiding a conversation, call person, boundaries and still angry. Yeah, they want you to, they know how guarded you are and they want you to drop your guard. They want you to drop your boundaries a little bit so that they... I'm getting can have an open window as it were to eventually come in to see you to talk to you look at that grim reaper the relationship is over no second chances grow and transform your life yeah because they want to know for definite for sure for some sort of closure as it were if your relationship is definitely over and if there's any second chance or not they they want to find out just so that you guys can be on the same page as it were i'll take one more thank you yeah, look at that, acts, breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment and abandonment. They don't want silent treatment from you. They don't want to have this continued breakup or separation between the two of you. They want to stop the pattern of whatever's been going on and they want to change things around. 
Look at that, self-indulgence, focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. This person wants to show you that they're taking the time to heal themselves enough to recognise what they did previously, that they may have been stuck in a bit of pride and ego, maybe even a little bit of arrogance, potentially, um, as well as other issues. But obviously take this however this particularly resonates. And they want to come forward towards you and they feel like it's the right time to heal the connection between the two of you and for it to transform here. Look at that with the butterfly and get the relationship to evolve into the next phase and grow together. That's basically what this person wants. We got that impression earlier with these cards here, but I'm feeling predominantly there's this fear that this person from you most likely that this person's not going to be loyal, that they're going to be unfaithful. And you've got a lot of anxiety about this whole particular situation. That they're just going to lie to you. Potentially you may have found out some sort of gossip from other people. You know, you may have found something or seen something online and kept it to yourself. And this could be an additional anxiety or stress that you've been worrying about. And it's not until you kind of eventually open up to this person and have this conversation that you'll kind of eventually... Um, have things moving forward like there'll be that eventual breakthrough because I feel like something's definitely feeling stuck like that things have been on pause for quite some time I'm getting that impression what's going on with the romance angels here but they totally see you know your worth and they recognize you because you're coming up as the empress and the Queen of Cups, and we saw the Queen of Swords earlier. So, and we've got the High Priestess of what you don't see. So this person definitely recognises your worth. And they know that you're not, they definitely know for now that you're not going to stand up for it and take any kind of rubbish from this person, any BS. Especially because if you've been through a lot and you're setting firm boundaries with them. And they actually have to show you with particular action. They, you know, they can't just come forward towards you and, and you know, proclaim their love as it were, and then that's that's it. Like they, they have to kind of back it up with a bit more than that. And I feel like this person does actually have the intentions to do all of that, to change things around. They probably most likely will open up and say that this is actually genuinely what they want with you, but you may be fearful of otherwise. So it's kind of just obviously take everything relatively slowly. Don't rush into anything. There's no need to rush. Because it's, it's otherwise things get overly emotional and um, ungrounded and unstable and what have you. What's going on with the romance angels for Pisces? Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this person is practically begging for a second chance to come forward towards you. But they want you to kind of let go of control issues. I just saw that at the bottom of the deck. They want you to drop your guard. They feel and know the chemistry between the two of you. Like now we've got unrequited love. There's not enough chemistry or attraction to keep this going. This person feels the chemistry between the two of you. Most likely they want to apologise for the hot and cold behaviour. And now that they are coming across to you... They know you feel the chemistry, but potentially you may, potentially they're feeling like you're going to treat them the way that they treated you. And they don't obviously want that, of course, um, as if it's unrequited love, as if you're not interested. But I feel like actually you genuinely are interested. Look at that. They were dealing with codependency here addictions are affecting your romantic life and then we've got that what we don't see you know there's double confirmation there this person now feels potentially that you're not going to give them a second chance that you're not going to be interested in a union or a reunion with this person and not kind of be able to let water go under the bridge as it were Unrequited love. Yeah, look at that past life relationship. But you have a past life relationship. You've known each other before. They want you to know that it's safe for you to love this person. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. 
they just gave off the impression that it was an unrequited love when because they were hot and cold but most likely they were just very immature i just want to quickly now that unrequited love has come out i don't usually do this but i just feel called to so i'm going to just quickly clarify this unrequited love here on the table what's the unrequited love about here for pisces please why has this card come out in reverse yeah someone's very much up in their head feeling really stuck because they caused a load of instability in your life and that's so you don't feel the same way about them so it's like you're not seeing eye to eye They want you to drop your guard. They want you to drop whatever happened in the past. Look at that, another four. They know that they were unreliable. They know that they most likely went to other addictions or codependencies with potentially with other people. But they were very immature back then. want to tell you the truth they want to communicate to you properly so they feel that they need to travel to come towards you to see you to travel communicate to say to you that they've changed here with the death card that they're not like that anymore and that they are changing that they actually want to be your person and that they're trying to get rid of all the unbalanced energy because they were incredibly unfair to you and they're certainly getting their comeuppance in relation to that but what i'm also feeling is you may have felt incredibly hurt by this person because you may have thought like you had given your cup of love you may have offered them stability and security and you know everything else and then they may not necessarily have turned it down and this could have been this harsh truth that you may have found out from this person and then you needed to take the time to grow and transform and heal yourself so that's why they're coming back around because you may be in a better space to be able to accept this this is most likely a very past energy saying they want to transform your connection i'm going to take one more for this unrequited love Yeah, you may be very much at a crossroads here, unsure with the Two of Swords. Look at that, double twos. Two, two, you could be seeing two, two or two, two, two. So like having trust that eventually everything will work out when it's meant to work out. Yeah, you could be trying to find out some sort of clarity to do with a third party and then that may actually change things around. Let's get some advice and guidance from the Soul Journey Oracle cards to kind of close off the reading. Obviously, please take what you feel fits and, and leave the rest, as it were. Let's have a look and see what's going on for Pisces, please. But they know that they really, they really hurt you. But I'm getting now they fear that you're going you're going to do what they did onto you, as it were. But all they want to do is change your situation and bring in love here. Look at that. They're hoping that you're going to be open or receptive to hear what they've got to say, that they actually genuinely want to change things around and grow the connection. Look at that. But you may be really hesitant. You may have to really kind of sit on your own and be isolated and just take the time to contemplate about what you would like to do on this situation. What can you tell us for Pisces, please? Because you may be really unsure about what to do. But only you can answer that. Courage. 
I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. So we're saying about all this fear earlier of the past and changing things around. You're only going to know about the situation unless you kind of give it a try. Look at that. Perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. So yes, you are you are bold enough and courageous enough to, you know, find out the truth or to find out what's been going on. And even if you just kind of sit and listen, you know, not cast any judgment because obviously you're not a very you're not a judgmental person whatsoever you're very fair you're very balanced in that sense very diplomatic but I feel like this is going to take real courage for this person to come forward towards you and they're definitely going to persevere to come forward towards you to make it right don't make any mistake about it they're going to keep trying and trying to come forward towards you because they see you as the queen of cups the empress and their Ten of Cups with the Ace of Pentacles. That's how they see you. And you most likely have a past life connection with this person. And they want to give your relationship a chance. Look at that. Patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. So this person wants you to be patient. And they're hoping that things will work out. Yeah, but potentially they may feel like you're going to point the blame, point the finger at them here. I accept responsibility for my well-being. So they're going to accept the responsibilities and the consequences of their actions. And they're going to change things around or they really want to. That's their intention anyway. I'll take one more. I feel like you guys need one more. So I'm going to take it for you. Thank you. Look at that. Health. I will honour the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. Yes, this is going to be overall very healing for your heart, your well-being, your mental and emotional state. Um, spiritually, even I'm getting, this is going to be a huge learning curve for you and experience for you, but also for your person. Potentially, they have been in bad health as well, and they may have realised that whatever path that they were going down previously was not serving to them, especially with this kind of addictions card that we saw earlier. And this person is now taking the courage to be patient with themselves in order to come forward towards you because they know that they need to make those particular sacrifices for the highest good of themselves, but also for you and in the overall bigger picture of your particular connection, because otherwise they're just stuck in regret here. I know that I cannot change the past. They don't want you to be in regret and they don't want to be in regret themselves. They want to change things. They don't want to have the what ifs like in the back of their mind about coming forward towards you or to carry any additional guilt for how they treated you. So they want to change things around. But obviously the ball is very much in your court and it's down to you however you do this. Okay, guys. So anyway, that's uh, enough of me rambling on. <laughs> I hope that you have enjoyed the reading. If you did, please like, share and subscribe. Leave us a comment. I greatly appreciate it. If you do, leave us a comment. Obviously, I'll reply back to you. And if you do subscribe, hit the notification bell so you guys get an alert as to when I post another video for you all. I hope that you have a very good week and we'll speak to you again soon. So please take care. Bye for now.